deserves standing ovation. Magical by Baez. Baez trying to score! Hi everyone, this is Heidi Watney. Welcome to the show. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the St. Louis Cardinals. It's Cardinals baseball next on the show. Jack Flaherty, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. So striding in, Starling Marte, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Front door with...
MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Atlanta Braves and the Minnesota Twins. So up steps Ozzie Albies. He will lead this one off today. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Up and away oh, to start the one. inning. It's 1 and 0. Oh. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. 2 and 0 oh now. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the always dangerous. Dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. And he misses with it one and one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Nope. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Sliced hard on the ground. Reined in. And there's out number two. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And right into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Brian Reynolds. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The now the pitch. The left fielder, Brian. Fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Sliced hard on the ground. Albies brings it in. And a good throw gets him one gone. So one away here with the bases empty, and here's Donaldson. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Skied into very shallow right. In Ciarte will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Into the box now, Mitch Garver looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Hamels peers in and delivers. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. That evens it up one and one. Pitch on the way. Hey. One and two. two out, nobody on. And he'll step All out right. and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end.
And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. First pitch on its way. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there and records the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The next to bat for Atlanta, Ender Inciarte. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one got a piece of him. Standing in, Johan Camargo. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Ready now, Max Kepler, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east-west consistently with a great cutter two-seamer combo. Two and one to count. Now the pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first, and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Hamels is ready. First pitch on the way. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. One ball, one strike. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. Bottom of the second here with no score. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Digging in, Charlie Culberson. Digging off for Atlanta. The shortstop, Charlie Culberson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Donaldson at third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone for the Braves here in the third. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch on its way. And he lays off there, 1-0. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Ooh. 
And a strike to even the count. One and one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Buxton comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. First delivery to him on the way. A bouncer to the left side, but the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The center field at the 13. Oh, a two. Acuna digs in now. High in the air and deep to left center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. Still going back. Gone! Now that is the first baseman. Freddie. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Bottom of the third now and striding forward the designated hitter Eddie Rosario. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses for ball one. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Now the one and one pitch. Chopped at the plate. That's a foul ball. A half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now with the plate, Luis Arias. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And that misses inside 1-0. and Arias is known to have an incredible ability to make contact when he swings the bat, becoming a rare thing to see him swing and miss, leading many people to marvel at his apparent hand-eye capabilities. Especially in today's game with such a high strikeout rate out there, he's becoming more of a rare talent. Yeah, just don't think he's trying to do too much. He gets himself into good hitter's counts and tries to hit it right back off the pitcher's hat. A ball and no strikes. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Chasing after it is Inciarte. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends. Coming forward now is the Braves' designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to... He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Now that left you, Tommy. Into the box, Tommy Pham. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 and 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Lays off that time, and it's 1 and 2. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Here he comes again, 1-2. 
And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now that so a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring up Ender Inciarte. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Lifted the other way to left center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there, and that's the second out. The relay throw on to first, a double play. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brian Reynolds, second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Missed low and inside with it. One and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And another foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Leadoff man gone, and that'll bring in the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Here's the first pitch to him. Good curveball there, gets the swing and miss. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. The Cunha is there now, and he has it two gone. Striding in, Mitch Garver. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First delivery to him on the way. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. As Hamels will jump ahead of him, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit hard to short. He's got it. Over to Albies covering at second, and that'll do it. Ready for another chance? Johan Camargo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Johan Camargo. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Oh. And he pulls the string on the circle change, but it's taken for ball one. What? No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. What strike? Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Okay. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. 
hit back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. The batter, number eight, shortstop, Charlie Colbert. In now, Charlie Culberson. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 0 1 on its way. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Ready with another 0 2. Got him. So a runner at first with one out now. Oh, and up next, the catcher, Travis, Travis. Darno. Darno. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh. The 1 0 home gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. 1 and 2 now. Camargo, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. From the stretch. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Oh. The 1 0 is yeah. looked at for the first strike. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle to second for one. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah, and this last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. He's set and the pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Two runs, four hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And that misses two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch. 
after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Popped him up. Sano is there. And the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on, or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup, curve ball away to a lefty, smart pitch. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So the base is empty Stop here with one away, and that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Starts him out with a cutter, and he gets him to swing through at one strike. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. No contact there, and it's one and two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Still one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Now that Digging in, Eddie Rosario will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. A high fastball is in there. The 0-1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at one and one. Hamels into the windup. Here it is. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he is out on the tag. Ready for another shot now. Freddie Freeman will try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Freddie New pitcher set to take over now. It's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call. Number 54. Here comes the first pitch. Romo. They have him played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Here's Marcelo Zuna. A hit in two tries so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And now a pitch on the way. A bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in once again. Tommy Pham. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Popped him up. Sano moving to his left. And that's the third out. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Luis Arias. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hit softly on the ground to first. The tag, and he is out. Now with the plate, Byron Buxton. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Fouled off. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. 
That just misses off the inside for ball one. Inside and low, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. In there for extra bases, and there goes the no-hitter. Into the box now, Brian Reynolds. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Inciarte is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Hamels comes set. Here's the first pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Ready once again, Ender Inciarte. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Now that third baseman, Johan Camargo. So here's Johan Camargo. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Buxton is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Riding into the box, Charlie Culberson, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Runners on first with one down. Into the corner and slicing foul. Oh, you won't see a guy fooled any more than he was there as on three pitches he becomes out number two. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here it comes. And he takes something off here as this is a lazy fly ball out to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now that the second baseman, Augie Alden. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. A swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is. Leading off the inning, Mitch Garver, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. 
man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Still no balls and two strikes. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Rounded weakly down the line toward third, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Pitch on the way. Fly ball out toward left center field. Acuna will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Now at the plate, Miguel Sano. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. The 1 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Stepping into the box, Ronald Acuna. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Here's the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Freeman. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, what a no. And a step off. Ball two now. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Two and oh count. Here it comes. There's a line drive base hit to left field and this will bang up against the wall and he is in at second base with a one out double now that to the plate now Marcelo Zuna as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate he's working on a one for three thus far set to deliver the 0 and 1 line toward center field oh and he can't reel it in out there now back left field Tommy there Late now, Tommy Pham, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Oh. 
saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The Braves have been looking for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a big time for that. Sinker misses, and it's one and two now. One ball. Big spot great. right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Here he is in his third inning of work out of the pen, which isn't all that common these days. And he's looking a little off right now. These guys aren't used to getting this much work in a single game anymore. Back up the middle. One there. Back to first. And that was a sparkler. A double play. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Jorge Polanco. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Digging in, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Pulls this one into the air, out into right field. Inciarte on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now in the box, Luis Arias. Over two for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And now he'll step off as they look for a strikeout pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Hamels has his sign. Here it is on 0-2. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game. In the end. here's Ender Inciarte. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ball game. Ender Inciarte. Trevor May enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. From the stretch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Buxton is there and he has it for the first down. And the next in is Johan Camargo. Johan Camargo. Here comes the first pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Sliced hard down the left field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. The batter, number eight, Charlie Colbert. Standing in now, Charlie Culberson. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. 
This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batting. So a runner at second. Two right. down now. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch on its way. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Hey, if I'm on the mound, I'm going even further out of zone on this next pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits. At the plate, Byron Buxton. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. Throw to first is in time for the first down. In now, Ryan Reynolds. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Ball one. One and one. Two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Line toward the gap in left center. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The catcher, number eight, Mitch Chris Martin takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Jimmy Kerrigan will come on now and pinch run here. Number two, Jimmy Kerrigan. Jake Cave will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. Runner goes for third. Pitch inside the throw. Skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. The 1 1 home. Two outs here with a runner at third. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. Final strike for the Twins. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. 
Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. A 2-0 finish today.